Hi, my name is Simon Hater, and today we're going to be discussing how to make and use image sprites for your website design. Um, there's a lot of advantages of using sprites. Um, one of those is cutting down on server side uh, requests, which uh, will help speed up your server and also improve the, the render time for your customers and visitors. So. Uh, I've got Serb Foundation in front of me, simple uh, default template I've just edited uh, just purely for this demo. Um, so I'm going to show you how to implement an image sprite into your design, um, but let's not waste any time. Um, so let's go over to all my uh, images. So as you see, I've got 10 here. Uh, they're all PNG format, and basically we want to make those into a sprite. So the first thing we want to do is highlight all of those. I'm using WinRAR, uh, but you can use your favorite compressor. Uh, make those into a zip file. Then want to visit a website uh, which is spritegen.website-performance.org. Um, there are plenty online, um, like similar, which will do the job just fine. Uh, I use this one because I've, it's just one I found uh, a few years ago. So I'm going to actually browse for my sprite file. There's my file. Now you can stack uh, horizontally or vertically. I go for vertically, um, but it doesn't really matter. There are advantages in both. Um, but anyway, I'm going to keep all of the, all of the values default. Um, you can play around with them yourself. You can set the the horizontal offset or vertical. This is the space in between each of your images but I find the defaults work fine for me so I'm actually going to give it um, a class prefix sorry I had a mind blank there so I'm going to call it Bob and then going to create the sprite file and basically what it's going to do is create the CSS so we go over to my uh, HTML template I've also loaded a custom uh, CSS which I've loaded it up here which we'll be working in as well as the HTML so let's go back to here and copy all the values let's go back and copy this value whilst we're here we'll also save uh, the image very important so let's go back to our CSS let's go to our folder with the sprite now in there Let's copy it into the image folder. So I know where that is. So let's go back to our CSS. Now um, they're assuming that I'm going to use a container um, with li uh, with uh, with a list, but we're not going to use that. I'm actually going to do it a different way. So um, let's do this. So let's call it. Uh, Bob one and let's duplicate that ten times. Probably gonna overcut that. So let's label all of these up to ten. Oops. Now, because I've copied it into um, the IMG folder, it's actually uh, up above, it's above uh, the folder uh, of the CSS, so we need to inform it. So dot dot forward stroke IMG forward stroke. That will find the file for us. Now, because, um, because these are all the same width uh, and height, I don't need to specify them in each container or uh, element. So we can actually move this out. So I'm going to cu cut that out, put it in here. Close that off. And then what I can do is I'm actually going to cut that out again and do a replace with a blank so leave that blank replace all yep fantastic actually gonna tidy this up as well replaces your friend oh i know what i did there replace put the end in bracket 
that's going to get rid of the white space for me. We can also take this one step further by tidying it up. Copy that into there. Let's get rid of those white spaces. Place, and as you can see, it's got rid of the white spaces. So I can bring that up now. And um, another thing we're going to do, because the images are uh, next to each other, we need to put a float in there. Uh, however, if you're using a vertical or uh, a list, then you wouldn't need to do this. So save that. I'm happy with that. Actually, get rid of that. Save it. Oh, let's tidy that up as well. It's always good to tidy up as you go. So let's go to our HTML. Now I'm using Sublime uh, Sublime uh, with Emmet installed. That's E double M E T, uh, which is a um, it's like a plugin which saves it. It's a plugin which saves time and it uh, increases pro produ productivity. Uh, sorry. Um, so I'll show you how that works. So I'm actually going to pipe div dot bob uh, star. Uh, sorry, uh, dollar symbol to uh, represent a number, and I want to times that by 10, and I then hold Control and E, and as you see, I've got Bob 1 to 10. So if you're not using Emirate, uh, do get it. It will save your time on all of your projects. So I'm going to save that now. I'm going to save that just in case I haven't. We're then going to jump back to my uh, template, and I'm going to refresh the page and voila there's all our image sprites so if I actually inspect that element you can see uh, using firebug that all of my pictures are loading up um, I hope that helps and I'll see you soon bye bye